Would you agree that if you did not find something that would be in favor of Mr. Depp and a negative to Ms. Hurd, that you wouldn't be an expert in this case? That Essentially, you into court if, you, if you're going to say that Ms. Hurd is right and Mr. Depp is wrong, correct? So as a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless of what that science may be. Now, when I take a case, my retainer agreement is explicit about that, and I Dr. discuss Dr. that Dr. with I'm the just attorneys. Asking you, I'm asking you a question. I'd like you to try to answer okay. my question. You understand that if you found favorably to Ms. Hurd and negatively to Mr. Depp, you wouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be testifying. No, I... Okay, sorry, hold on. The objection is speculation. I, I, that's, that's not speculation. No, I'll sustain the objection if you want to ask. I'm okay. sad. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. If... The woman was too stunned to speak. Help me! Help me! It goes to bias, Your Honor. I sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. All right. Bruh. You were, in fact, so excited about being involved in this case that you told your husband, even though this was a highly confidential matter, that you were going to be conducting the examination of Ms. Hurd, didn't you? That is not accurate. You not only told your husband, but you what? told Ms. Hurd that you told your husband, correct? No! Ms. Bredehoff, that is not accurate. What is accurate? You're incorrect. That is not correct. You, you, is your testimony today under oath that you did not tell your husband that you were going to be conducting the examination of Amber? That is my testimony. Okay. Two hours later. Let's go to page 306. So the question that was asked was because you brought muffins, you said from your husband, right? You get and you gave those to Miss Heard, correct? <laughs> that is not correct. May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? What happened was that I was getting ready that morning. I frequently bring muffins to the office. My husband did happen to know that there was going to be a celebrity client coming in because on the mornings that that occurs, which often occurs, we have to actually clear the office and move the staff to the other office. So yes, on the one hand, he was aware that. I was getting ready. I asked him to go to the bakery near our house and pick up the muffins for me because I was running late. He often has to do that because I often do run late. He brought the muffins back to the house. I brought them into the office. Miss Hurd and I enjoyed the muffins together. I think I made a comment to her along the lines like, we can thank my husband. He brought them. Or, my husband got these for us today, meaning he purchased the muffins. We are now enjoying them because of him. A few moments later. So why did your husband get the muffins for Amber Heard? He did not get the muffins for Amber Heard. He knew you had a high profile client and he was and you were preparing for a very long time and you asked him to pick up the muffins, correct? I asked him to pick up the muffins for me, yes. Okay. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more yes. time? That you did not me. disclose in any of the designations or in dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp, correct? I did not disclose that I was interviewed by the legal team, no. I asked a different question. Are you trying to resist that you didn't have dinner with Mr. Depp and drinks? I'm not trying to resist that, but it's not quite right. You did have dinner with Mr. Depp, did you not? I did. With and you had drinks with Mr. Depp. Depp, did you not? And what? You had drinks with Mr. Depp, did you not? Drinks were served. I. This was over two years ago, I may have had a drink with dinner, yes. In fact, you thought you had a mule something, right? Possibly. Yes, okay. And you didn't disclose that you had met with Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez at Mr. Depp's house for three to four hours and had dinner and drinks, correct? I did not disclose that. It's not significant to the report. You don't think that's significant, correct? I don't. Okay. She's got a point, she's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. And then I asked, have you ever arrived at that opinion in the time that you have served as an expert witness in this case? 
and your answer was, could you read that to the jury, please? Yes. Um, so no, it's not the task I was cut off or I essentially what I read, I, what I said then was no, Dr. that's Curry. not the task of death. That was never my task to determine. Can I say what that means? No. And then the question is, so is it fair to say that you have never arrived at an opinion that quote, Ms. Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that suggest allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false, end of quote. And what was your answer? Well, there was an objection. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll read it for you if you're having difficulty. Okay. Your no. answer was under oath, correct. That is not my opinion. That, that has, has never, never been, been my opinion. opinion. Isn't that what correct. you said under yes. oath on March 21st? Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Dr. Korea, in answering that question, were you consulting anything? Dr. Hughes. Dr. Hughes, I'm so sorry. Uh, Dr. Hughes, were you consulting anything? Dr. Curry's here, I guess, as well. <laughs> That's a bit confusing. Um, Two very boring minutes later. Dr. Curry, um, if, if you, I mean, Dr. Dr. Hughes, Hughes, I don't know why I keep saying that. My apologies. My apologies. Dr. Hughes. <laughs> That's suspicious. That's weird. I think it's the confusion of having her in the courtroom. Um, Dr. Hughes, I... Uh, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. If, um, if... <laughs> Can I take a look? Nope. Okay. How much have you charged so far? I actually don't know. Over a hundred thousand? I truly don't know. I don't do my own books. Over two hundred thousand? I don't know. Over three hundred thousand? That would be way too much, but I do not know. Many, many, correct? I wouldn't qualify it as many, many. I'm not sure what you mean how, by many, many. How many would you say? I don't know. I don't have the notes in front of me. Okay. Well, what do you recall in deciding to make your opinions in this case? Well, I'm confused about the dates because I know that Dr. Jacobs treated Ms. Hurd even while she was in her prior relationship, leaving her prior relationship with her last wife. Uh, Dr. Curry, I'm not going to ask you to try to bring in extraneous things. I'm asking you what you recall. But notes. the dates would have been different based on that alone. <laughs> And I recall that there was quite a bit of information because these were copious notes spanning back in time from her relationship with Tasha. So Dr. Dr. Curry, please answer my question. How many occasions do you recall Dr. I don't know. Dr. Jacobs documenting Amber reporting physical abuse? I don't know. Okay. Ms. Heard struck. Ms. Pennington in the face. In yeah. fact, Ms. Pennington testified that she hit Ms. Hurd. And in response to that, she can't recall that Ms. Hurd either pushed or slapped her, correct? I don't recall. That's a pretty important distinction, don't you think? My recollection is that there was some sort of violence both ways in the relationship. Either way, it seemed that both of them might have been unstable. Uh, oh, I'm only evaluating Ms. Hurd. So, so now we have an evaluation of Rocky Pennington? No, from... I just said, but that was not relevant to my opinion because I'm only evaluating Ms. Hurd. Well, wouldn't it make a big difference if Amber struck first or just responded back? Given the dynamic, not necessarily. No, it would not have. So, so now you're an expert on Rocky Pennington and her dynamics with a Amber Heard. Objection! Oh, this is sustained. Okay. You did not review any medical records or psychological records from Mr. Depp either, did you? I reviewed all of the records that were available. So one way or the other, you don't know whether Mr. Depp suffers from any personality disorders. There was... That's not my task, period. 